sounds good to me. <laughs> Don't forget, Loudmouth Bass is coming up next. Not only is Zona going to shoot sparks out of his fingertips, but Skeet Reese is going to be in the studio and out on the lake with him. We'll see you at 11. So long, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Loudmouth Bass. Skeet Reese comes to our house. Yeah, but how would one of the best anglers on tour fare on our fishing hole? <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, that one's for you. Z, you too, buddy. <laughs> and what's up with that hair? You're digging. You are digging. Hair just, uh, uh, get him in there. Uh. Hey, it seems to be working for him, Z. Whatever, Kumar. Loudmouth Bass is presented by Bass Insider. Feed daily at the hottest new spot in bass fishing. Become a Bass Insider today. Welcome to Loudmouth Bass. I am Mark Zona. He is Jay Kumar. All right, Z. You know what, Jay? What, Z? We might see some more changes. Big next ones. Year. Big. Everything changing. You know what? Let's take yeah. a peek at Go what's ahead. on the table right now. Field size cut down to 100 boats. Entry fees, five grand an event. 11 tour events, three majors that would stay the same. Payout would increase to 50th place. Yeah, we're talking about the Bassmaster Tour right. there, Z. That's exactly right. And you know what? That's a lot of changes right there. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about having the field size and entry fees going up, what, you know, let's, almost 50 Let's start on that. Yeah. I was... I think the only guy in the country that liked a 200 boat field. You think so? Yes. I I'm with you. On and that. about every angler on the Bassmaster Tour told me I was the only guy. <laughs> so, you know what? If that's the way they want it, I have no problem well, with that. And, uh, and they can go what? to other lakes that you po possibly could right, not right. with 200 boats. I got your back because you said you liked the 200 boat field Love because it. you get a bigger payback. Bigger there. payout. But hey! All you have to do is raise the entry fee, and you can get with your boats. That's what we're talking well, about let's, here. Well, let's talk about whoa, these. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many boats do you think we're going to have in the, in the Bassmaster Tour next year? That could, if it goes with up to five grand per event, Entries entry fee. will be between thirty dollars to $50,000. I'm going to say there will be probably four or five guys fishing. Four or five year. guys. Definitely no, less no, than No, no, seriously. Seriously. Definitely less than 100 I, I would say, events. I would say 70 to 80 guys will try it. You will see guys drop out of it. That will happen inevitably. But the biggest thing that you're seeing, Jay, 30 to 50 grand is more than most families make a year, yeah, man. Income families. All right, let's move on now. We'll talk to about the entry fees, what we we're talking yeah. about before. What we're seeing here, once again, is a direct connection between the more the anglers pay, the more some of the anglers make in the tournament. Exactly what do you right. think about that, Zip? Well, you know what? The we see the same guys win most of the events that are in the top 30. Yeah. We're going to see that. It's next like a year. big poker game. And you know what? The big guns come to town, they put all their money up Those there. Those guys cool. are not scared of these entry fees. It's the rookie, it's the guy, the second tier fisherman. New blood. New blood is not going to make it. And I will tell you something. If they don't like those big entry fees, there's another tour out there. There is. The FLW exactly. Tour. And speaking of the FLW Tour, how about George Cochran, man? Yeah. He is cracking them out there. 500 grand 500 large. grand. There he is. FLW Tour Championship winner. Won it on his home lake, Jay. Yeah, you got it. He just that. bought the lake, Jay. Yeah, he owns the lake now. Aside from that, he finished first in the FLW he Tour did. Championship or Forest Hill Wood Championship. Second, Check I mean, this I'm sorry, out, fourth at the Bassmaster Classic, third at Top Gun. If he had finished first in all those events, he's winning 800000 But if he's finished second in all those events, look at that. Yeah, you know what? We, we did, we scratched the surface on this last week. Yeah. And you know what? It is great to see almost a million dollars. In six weeks? In six weeks. Up for grabs. But I'm going to pound this every time we talk You're about pounding? it. Second place has got to go up. You like that? You're huh? making one. How about through 50th place? You're Come making on. one guy happy. 
Yeah. Help out the other guys. You know where I'm at You're on this. You're a big happiness merchant. I, like I am. That. Everybody's happy, right? Yeah, hey, George. listen, listen. One other thing. However the payouts are increasing, mm -hmm. whether it's off the anglers back or sponsors stepping up. Yes. The bottom line is, if you don't think you can be in the top 50 in the world, bye bye. do not fish the tours. That's where all the money yeah. is going to be. That's a bad proposition. Yeah. Now, we see there's a lot of money getting into it now. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Tons of money. Yeah. How do you think the sport is being perceived? I think it's great. Everybody loves bass fishing. They know all about it. They think these guys are studs. Come on. How about good PR and bad PR? What about it? Does that help? Hey, some guys are capitalizing on their notoriety right now, Z. Well, Steve. check this out. Mike Iaconelli on The Daily Show. Comedy Central. Let's take a Don't piece. you have a responsibility to the kids out there who might see you on TV and... <laughs> Hold on. Are they putting bass fishing on TV? Yeah. Man, what is that about? Couldn't you talk to the fish in a more gentlemanly manner? For example, it's been quite a battle. You're a worthy adversary. I commend your effort, but I am the victor. No, absolutely not. That's fantastic. Hey, hey, the bottom line is they're making fun of Ike up there. I mean, come on. That's what they're doing. You know what? Ten years ago, we may never have seen that. Somebody would have killed somebody to get on that show. Exactly right. I think it's fantastic. And it's sport. great that Ike is such a good sport that he doesn't care about that. Well, let's oh, talk about somebody else that gets quite a bit yeah. of PR. Who's that? And he's on the show today. What? Who's that? Billy Idol's no, in the house. No, no, no. Eminem, right? Wait, who is that? Is that, oh, that's oh, yeah. that Skeet Reese dude. Yeah, what's a lot of these guys out there complaining about not getting what they feel like they deserve. Nobody's, nobody's deserved anything out here. You better go out there and earn it. If you can't earn it on your own, then get out. The Patriots are not of this world. They draft well. They scout well. They still have Tom Brady. Quite frankly, that's all you need. Quite frankly, with Stephen A. Smith, weeknights at 6.30 Eastern on ESPN2. Take your bass fishing to the next level by upgrading your bass membership status to Bass Insider. With your Bass Insider membership, you can gain exclusive access to the most comprehensive source of bass fishing information anywhere and get valuable new benefits and privileges by upgrading your bass membership status to Bass Insider. Visit the website, upgrade your membership status to Bass Insider, and begin raising your Bass IQ today. Right now, you can get up to $500 off select John Deere riding lawn tractors, plus no interest and no payments until April 2006. But hurry into your nearest John Deere dealer because this window of opportunity will soon be closed. Dickies workwear stays true to its roots. Then, now, and far into the future. Dickies, a legend in work. Get the bottom line now during Nissan's model year-end clearance. The bottom line on the all-new mid-size Nissan Frontier and the full-size Titan with 2% financing for 36 months or 2,500 cash back on the V8 Nissan Titan King Cab. See your Nissan dealer now. Clearance time happens once a year. And that's the bottom line. The world's best-selling automatic transmission. Unmatched ride and handling. Industry-leading independent rear suspension with over 11 inches of ground clearance. On-demand all-wheel drive. And now, during the Polaris factory authorized clearance, get up to $500 in rebates, plus a free double factory warranty and payments of only $69 a month. Get the world's toughest ATVs at the lowest prices of the year during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Mount Bass is presented by Bass Insider. Feed daily at the hottest new spot in bass fishing. Become a Bass Insider today. Welcome back to Loudmouth Bass. This week we had a chance to sit down with Skeet Reese. Our friend. Our friend and one of the best interviews in bass fishing. To show you what we mean, check this out. You've come from California, West Side, and a lot of anglers have, okay, West Side. You're looking a little West Side now. I got a little going. Yeah. You told me off to the side 
and I'm going to call you out on this. Nice. That, that was West, off the record, that wasn't it? Western anglers <laughs> are far superior over the rest of the country. Have you not <laughs> said that? Oh, you're digging deep Have right you now, brother. Right. You're me. digging. You oh, are digging. Was, was that Here, just uh, uh, get them in there. Uh. It was later in the evening one night when he said it. I kind of <laughs> thought to myself, boy, I got some ammo. I will put our Western anglers against anybody in the country, hands down. Talking about the West Coast, what? Bassmaster Tour in 06, 11 events. Zero on the West None. Coast. What do you think about that? I'm tired of hearing these guys whining and bitching and moaning about having to spend the gas money to get out to the West Coast. We got some of the best fisheries in the country, and if this is ever going to be a truly professional sport, they need to pack it up and take it out West for a couple of events. Now, do you think, are you basically saying here, or maybe not saying, but what I'm hearing is that the Bassmaster Tour is like the biggest regional tour in the country. I mean, basically, you're looking at the southeast and southwest. Both FLW and Bass yeah. are regional. Yeah. I don't care what you look at. It, in, until they incorporate the West on a regular basis, we never have a truly professional national tournament trail. End of story. You, Next question, please. You just <laughs> said Keep something. Keep going on you that. You just man. said something in there. You're tired of other pros whining. Okay? And there are pros out there right now that are... Oh, there's a ton of whining going on. Is that unusual? I don't well, know. That's, 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 yeah, that's a good point because, yeah, bass fishermen have you always been You could give a bass fisherman a million bucks and he's going to find something bad. You've had it. You've had it with the whining. If you don't like it, get out. Pretty much. Have you told those guys this? I think a lot of them have gotten to the point recently that, uh, you know what, the PAA, it's a great concept. I support the PAA. There's some good ideas that everybody can address as one voice as for the anglers addressed to the tournament organizations. But overall, bottom line, end of story is, this is a business. This isn't a team sport. This is an individual sport. I'm competing against KVD, Ike and Ellie Swindle, everybody else out there on an everyday basis. I'm not trying to get their money. I'm trying to take their damn money. And everybody else's money that's in that pot, I'm fighting for myself. When it comes to business endorsements, I'm fighting for myself. At the end of the year, yeah. I'm worried about what's in my bank account. Can I put my girl through college? Can I make my mortgage? Yeah, we got to fight for that. And I'm doing what I have to do as a business person. And a lot of these guys out there are complaining about not getting what they feel like they deserve. Nobody's, nobody's deserved anything out here. You better go out there and earn it. If you can't earn it on your own, then get out. Now, we've got to work together this year. We worked together in the greatest angler debate where I think you were calling fans idiots at times. Okay? <laughs> you also threw another line out that I haven't called you out on. You, you also said one day, there are entirely too many rednecks in this sport. Do you really feel that? Oh, yes. But you well, know what? I love them. That's the a... fans, the pros, well, what are you talking about here? Everything? What are you Is it... thinking, man? <laughs> It's be, to be honest with you, I can talk smack because I'm from California, but I do have a little bit of redneck in me. I just don't want to tell. You have to be. You're I, 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 I know. Man. I have some redneck in me. I just didn't want to tell everybody that. So it's just me busting chops. I, I mean, you got to look. A lot of my best friends are hillbillies from the South. So it's not... It's just a trash talk is all it is. I got something for you, Z. Ooh, whoa. What's this? I got a bone to pick. Remember the beginning of the season? You guys did a little deal. Overrated, oh. underrated. Oh, 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 you know what yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kumar had Ooh. my back on the whole deal. Come on, Where was come the on up here, baby. Huh? Yeah, how about where, that? Where do you stand? You still stand? Oh. Overrated, underrated? Hold on, hold on. I think Z might have forgotten what you're talking about. Let's, let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah. Skeet Reese. Uh -huh, that's what I thought. He's totally underrated. And you come know why? On. Hey, he's been in the top ten in the world for like eight months. He snuck up on everybody. He wins tournaments. He's underrated. Overrated. One of the best to ever come out of the West. You don't like Skeet Reese? Will... Nope. Didn't you don't say like that. him? He is one of the best to ever come from the you West Coast. You don't like guys from the West Coast? It didn't say that. Is he in the top 10 in the world, in my opinion? Yeah, Not he there is. Yet. Reed, he's top there, Top 20, man. maybe? Not top 10. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. All right. Eight? You went, what? you went what? on a terror after I did that. Did you not? You <laughs> even said put a fire in her That was the point. point. I'm claiming that was your motivation. 2004 uh -huh. and 2005, let me read this off. Eight top 20 finishes in about 12 events. Number three in the world, Skeet Reese. What are you talking about, Z? 
He came into the season there, bro. All right, let's Is move it, on. It, Did on. you show love now by giving highlights? I show highlights? love now. I show you love now. now. He's a underrated. He's a bandwagon. Yeah. Underrated. I'll admit when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Underrated. I yeah. may not be next year, but there this you go. year. All right, Skeet, we're going to wrap this up with some rapid-fire questions, buddy. Just a few. Okay. What's the best thing about being a pro bass fisherman? I'm a spoiled rot, dude. I get to fish for a living. Plain That's and simple. Sweet. Who's your best friend on the pro tour? John Murray. Really? Cool. What's the worst thing about being a pro bass fisherman? Being away from my family. All right. Who's your worst friend on the pro tour? <laughs> Dean Rojas. Oh. Right there, man. Oh, my word. <laughs> what would you be if you were not a pro bass fisherman? I'd be in the fishing industry somehow, some so way. Like, I don't know what it'd be. Catching squid I don't know. or something? It wouldn't matter as long as you're on the water? I don't have a clue. You don't know. That's how much. That's, that's, how, scary, in, that's how deep I am into this. Okay. I, I don't have another job Next now. year, your biggest goal is to accomplish what? Angler of the year, classic, one of the two. You know what? There's something I'm going to give Skeet credit whoa, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you pointing he at He said there? that he is sick of all the whining from other anglers. Well, you know what? What, what? Skeet could whine more than anybody living in California paying $30 a gallon for gas, really? and he doesn't do it. Why doesn't he do when it? When we were sitting there talking after the interview, he said one thing. It comes down to catching bass. You catch bass, you get paid. And you get paid money! <laughs> I'm serious, man. All right, man. so you're not all there, bro. You well, know? Hey, whatever. Athletes in every sport whine. That's the way it is. And you know, in this sport, they have more cost to than most. High entry fees, low payouts. We'll I agree with that. Going. Go on the water, catch your All fish. Right, and you know what? 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 We might catch a fish when we come back. There it is. Uh -oh. Wait. Hey, that's uh -oh. not hey, me, Jay. That's not me either. What? What? Oh, oh that's, no. That's no good. Jay, that one's for you. Z, you too, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. California's fired up right now. We know the HRX is a Honda. We know it has cruise control. Cruise control. We know it has a Xenoid body that's virtually indestructible. What we don't know is, what is this? It's called First of All. It goes from mulching to packing to discharge with no attachments. This changes everything. ESPN Fantasy Football is so easy to use. Yeah, and it doesn't require a major time commitment. And we love the camaraderie it engenders. The way we're talking is so weird. This room and our clothes. Brandy, Randy, Candy, I don't think we exist. What, what do, do you, you mean, mean Sandy? Sandy? I think we're just part of some guy's fantasy, and whoever he is, he obviously loves ESPN fantasy football, and we're just icing on the cake. Ooh, there's cake? <sighs> ESPN fantasy football. Play for free at ESPN.com slash fantasy. You were there? <laughs> Dinner with the wife. Oh, too bad for you. Oh, no, not really. My charter DVR recorded it. The game was waiting for me when we got home. Ooh, remember this catch? Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, I played it over and over again. I just saw it once. Digital video recording from Charter means you'll never miss a moment of the game again. Record your favorite show and rewind to create your own instant replay. Sign up for Charter DVR with Moxie. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER. It's all about performance. That's what I get with Charter High Speed Internet. And that's what drives the Army National Guard. The Guard is the team America counts on to defend our country and our communities. Like to learn more about how you can help support the Guard? Stick with me. I know a shortcut. Just visit 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM and get there faster with Charter High Speed Internet. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER and get hooked. Welcome back to Loudmouth Bass. Z, it's time for another E3. I love them. Yeah. Love them. It, we're fishing against Skeet Reese this time, and despite our best efforts at not obeying any rules whatsoever... Nothing. Well, I won't spoil it for you. Check it out. We are here at the site of the inaugural E3 event That's against right. Greg Hackney. That's Whoa, right. easy. Oh, hey, hey we're Skeet, doing... Skeet, we only take special friends here. This is the golf course pond. 
Okay. I haven't only... snuck in a golf course in a long time. These guys go down here, Steve. Right. Everybody who comes here goes Everybody. down hard. And if you, always a first, baby. if you do lose, you will forever be overrated. Whoa, oh, man. Man. Oh, oh. You guys, the show it. was overrated, all right? But... Bass Tech's got your numbers beat. Your ratings are here, Bass Tech's here. So I think it's Bass Tech against, but it's one against two. So we'll see who prevails. If you win, you close the show. All right. Let's go. Let's get it done. Nice. Point on the board, baby. Get him in. Nice. That is a freaking win. I may not be much on a boat, man, but you, you put me on two feet, I can catch you. That is absolutely wrong. The most non-fishing individual I've ever seen in the sport of fishing, and he catches the first one out here. Kumar, that was a big hit. Yeah. That was a big hit. That's one loss. I want to take caught. him so bad today. All the trash that guy talked. I really can't let those guys beat me today. Hey, I hope you get hit by a golf ball. I thought your pond had fish. Yeah, he's on the board, baby. It ain't a big one, but this one's about numbers, boys. It's about numbers. Okay, one. He just caught one. Skate did? Yeah. Uh-oh. Little. What do you got? What's that? How many do you have? I got none. What are you doing? Well, I've taken a few phone calls and <laughs> I had a meeting. <laughs> yes. Oh. That's two, baby. Two, two. Did you fish that corner where he's at? Evidently not good enough. Yeah, Z! Yeah. Nice. Oh. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, that one's for you. Z, you too, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> California's fired up right now. You sorry dog. Dang. It wasn't time up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, that's the best thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> yeah. Got it? Bring him up to Z. Bring him up to Z. Ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> Unfortunately, the tournament was over. Thanks. Good way Turn to it over. I won. Yeah. <laughs> well, after actually having to talk to an official scorer, I don't know if I agree with this. It was three to two. You beat us on our home ground. Our favorite fish. You okay, bud? No. No. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Yeah, you let California won. take you down. Good job well fought. And as promised, you will get the last word at the end of the show. Great job. Whatever. Hashtag wants. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Whatever. <laughs> do, 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 do. I like it. I'm, Z, what is I'm, up, man? We keep fishing these things. We keep losing. Yeah, there's a surprise. Huh? We lost another E3. Jay, I'm tired of it. You're taking it pretty hard, huh, Dude, bro? I'm just tired of it. Hey, well, when we come back, Z, you're going to get a little heat from another quarter. You know Great. why? Uh, your co-angler, non-boater, amateur, whatever. Why are you always cracking on me? What do you mean? I love that guy right there. Playoffs begin Tuesday at 7.30 on ESPN2. Dickie's workwear stays true to its roots. Then, now, and far into the future. Dickie's.
a legend in work. Right now, you can get up to $500 off select John Deere riding lawn tractors, plus no interest and no payments until April 2006. But hurry into your nearest John Deere dealer because this window of opportunity will soon be closed. My nickname was Joe Wetness. My old deodorant wasn't working, so I joined Arid's Wetness Protection Program with the strongest ingredient to keep you Arid extra dry. And now my career's looking up. Join the Wetness Protection Program, Arid Extra Dry. Kawasaki's Invincible V-Twin ATVs, the Brute Force 650, Prairie 700, and Brute Force 750. Go ahead, cancel the search party. Introducing the new all-wheel drive Subaru B9 Tribeca. The end of the SUV as we know it. And the beginning of what an SUV should be. You look great. You look great. You look great. How do I look? Bad poker face. Doesn't matter when you play online at PartyPoker.net. It's fun, it's free, it's the world's largest poker school. Got some flowers. Got some flowers. It's the ESPN College Game Day Kickoff Special. Steve Spurrier makes his return to college football with the Gamecocks. Plus a live performance by Big and Rich with Cowboy Troy. We're coming! The College Game Day Kickoff Special, Thursday at 7 on ESPN. Loudmouth Bass is presented by Bass Insider. Feed daily at the hottest new spot in bass fishing. Become a Bass Insider today. Hey, it's the weigh-in, everybody, where you send us your Dr. Doom questions and we give you our fantastic four answers. Oh, no. Kick it off, Z. Ed, Michigan. Mark, I think you disrespected amateurs when you said it wasn't fair that you had to fish against a pro in your boat while other pros were fishing against guys eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Jay, let me talk about this real quick. Ed, I kind that of... sounds like your wife wrote that in. <laughs> Mark! Ed, I, 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 I was misquoted. It was bologna and cheese sandwiches yeah. that we were talking about. Seriously, I'm joking. The quote that that was about was that guys were fishing with observers. The observers were the thing I was talking about. Observers, that's just great in an open. Yeah, that's it, real when fair. When you got a pro crack that's 19 pounds off your spot. Real fair. All right, Ryan from Pennsylvania. Got a little fan mail here, Z. Hey, let's see what we got. The only thing that topped the classic weigh-ins was seeing Zona turn around and give us a double fist pump and oh. finger point. Hope that oh. was not the middle finger. Wow. It's like you were shooting lightning from your fingertips, Z. What's up with that, man? Are you ready? Wait, what do you mean? You've never seen me do it? What are you talking Check about? Check this out. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! Get out of here! Turn that off! Wow, Z! <laughs> finally got the lights and power and everything back Pretty on. Pretty impressive, here. isn't it? Dude, you gotta be careful with that You're kind of exactly power. You're exactly right. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, friend. All right, Ozzy in Florida. There he, he is. In. What is a weekend warrior angler to do now that the price of gas is up to three bucks? Ouch. This may cause strife between boaters and non-boaters in tournaments, especially... Well, so you know what, Ozzy? You're right. In Ozzy, <laughs> baby! woo -hoo -hoo! I didn't know Ozzy Osbourne fished yeah. bass tournaments yeah, out of baby. Florida. But you Crazy are right. Crazy train! <laughs> Crazy train! Yeah! If you do fish bass tournaments and you're co-angler, kick the boat or a couple extra bucks. Zach man. Wild, it's baby! It. Thanks for writing in, Oz, man. We love you. Al in Delaware. Yeah. Don't be sucking up to Kevin Van Dam. Yeah, really? Sick. Be real journalists and report the facts. KVD didn't win the classic. Aaron Martin's lost it. Uh, Alan, uh, yeah. I'm uh, seriously perplexed about what the heck you're talking about. Yeah, what? Exactly. I think Kevin won that term. And I'm pretty sure Alan's real name might be Byron Velvet. Oh! For 
his friend Aaron, oh, huh? Yeah, I can see. That. We're done. Log on to ESPNOutdoors.com. You will fire us a question. Fire it. It may get on the show. Like a Jake. missile. We are done. We're done. We're Had a blast. We're how about, crazy. How ah. about that power outage? Yeah, how about Ski Reese cracking us? Thanks for watching. Let's see what he has see to say. See you next week. That's it. Game over. California wins. Undisputed king of the golf course pond. J Z. Oh, God, he's playing down. Bash Tech took you down single handedly. Did I need G to take the two of you down? No. Lights out, boys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I remember that. Z, even though you got the highlights, doesn't help you catch fish. There's some things you just can't duplicate. Often imitated, never duplicated. California, straight up. See ya. the best in the business. Yeehaw! Now imagine spending some quality time fishing with Peter Faveros and classic champ Mike Iaconelli. Never give up! Well, pack your bags for the ultimate expedition, ESPN's ultimate expedition. Four days of learning from the pros at a deluxe fishing resort. Get the details at Bassmaster.com backslash ultimate. Map reading. Lure presentation. Boat handling. School by Denny Brower is brought to you by Bush Beer, the official beer of BASS and proud sponsor of professional angler Denny Brower. Welcome to School by Denny Brower. This is the show where we follow amateur anglers on bodies of water, public bodies of water that they're totally unfamiliar with. We give them two hours to go out and scout, then we give them a six hour fishing period. After they're all done, I go out there and I see what I can find, kind of analyze what they did right, what they did wrong, and then I score them in the following four categories. Decision making, map reading, and overall.